I've been doing this for 25 years, and I've never interviewed anyone from space before, so I'm pretty excited. <laughs> We've been tracking this woman for months, and now astronaut Katie Coleman, she's finally in space, and uh, we want to find out firsthand what's the what it's like up there. Yeah, she blasted out last week on board a Soyuz rocket out of Russia, leaving behind her husband and 10-year-old son for six months' time. Katie Coleman is joining us this morning, live from the International Space Station, high above the Earth. There she is with her, her festive hat on. And John Zarella, <laughs> who had the enviable task of following Katie for the last year as she prepared for her trip, joins us from Miami. John, I, I know that you've been uh, anxious to talk to Katie up there in space. She did such great work following her trek, her journey to get there. So why don't you go first? Yeah, John Carroll, you know, there was no way we were going to let that series, that year-long series, just end with her finally getting to space. And we are so privileged to uh, have uh, Katie Coleman and Paolo Nespoli, the Italian Space Agency astronaut, who was also uh, part of our year-long special, joining us from the International Space Station, 220 miles above the Earth. And, uh, Katie, to you, are you getting settled in? You got the toothbrush put away and the socks in the sock drawer? You know, I've gotten so I, I feel actually right at home here. I think it's just like any other place. And then sometimes there's things that remind me that we're in space, like this. You know, you have... <laughs> oh, it's another one of those bad hair days for Katie up in space. They, you've always said to me that space is a magical place. You flew twice on the space station uh, and the space shuttle. For you guys, is it living up to the billing, you and Paula? You know, it, every every second of it really is, and I, I think so few people get to come up here, and we feel so lucky. And you know, I've gotten so I actually think it's normal to open up my little cabin and you know float down the lab and eat breakfast. And uh, I just uh, I think it's an amazing place. Here's Paolo. Yeah, yeah, John. Being up here, it's uh, really different. Uh, it takes quite some time to adjust yourself. Uh, but then you get to fly around. I just wonder what I'm going to do when I come back on Earth, if i be able to fly around my room or will just fall on the floor. <laughs> uh, Kate, uh, Katie, hey, I'm it's, John, break. it's John Roberts here, Katie. I, I know that it's, it's not all fun and games up there in space and playing with hair and flying around, as Paulo said. You've, you've got a lot of work to do. You, uh, I know, have been... Uh, working in on the Japanese robot arm there. What, what other kind of experiments will you be doing up there in space in the six months that you'll be on board the station? Well, just this morning I was getting uh, the, what we call the clean bench ready for experiments next week. And that's where we're doing some cell biology and, and even plant experiments. And we're able to transfer things in this small glove box. But then even more interesting is when we want to find out what's the effect of microgravity, we've got a centrifuge to spin things at 1G, and then we can have the same plants or cells doing the same experiment right next door in microgravity. So it's, uh, there's a lot of exciting experiments up here. Carol Costello here, Katie. I'm so excited to be talking. I can't even wrap my mind around that you're in space and I'm down here. It's unbelievable. But I wanted to ask you, I know you left your 10-year-old son, of course, back down on Earth. He said he's taking care of Dad for you. So that must be going through your mind because you're going to be up there through Christmas. And also, I, you, you brought your flute with you, right? I hope you did anyway. I did, although I'll say we've actually been so busy settling in, I haven't actually gotten to unpack it yet. I did actually, you know, I try to bring something that reminds, you know, helps me relate to my son what I do every day. And so, of course, his little tiger, Hobbs, came up on the supply ship. I, I keep them on a leash just because, you know, we don't want a tiger to get loose on the space station. <laughs> you know, Katie, um, six months is an awfully long time. Now, of course, our, our men and women in the military experience this all the time with overseas deployments. But six months is a long time to be away from, from loved ones, family back home. It'll be the longest that you've been away from them. How are you going to maintain that connection to them? Can, can, you, can you talk, on, if not on a frequent basis, at least from time to time? 
We're quite lucky up here in that we get to talk to um, folks. So we have actually an, uh, an internet protocol phone that we can use when the communication satellites um, have the correct bandwidth. So we can do some talking um, by, by phone, so to speak. We can call them. And then we have weekly family conferences by video, which is pretty marvelous to see, to see them, and vice versa, I think. Oh, that's terrific. John Zarella, can you imagine talking to your mom in space on phone? <laughs> Just a minute, i got to go talk to my mom. She's in space. Yeah, I know. You know, before we lose Katie, we'll wrap it up real quick here. Katie, one last thing. I know how important it is, the messages to young people, uh, particularly women. you got a message out there for, for the young folks who may be watching this this morning? I, I just like to say that, you know, this was my dream, and, and it's not everybody's, but it certainly was mine. And you never think that an ordinary person could get to come and, and live on the International Space Station and call it their home and, and have a, a lot of really interesting work to do that I think will make a difference for, for all people. And, and the way that happens is just to, to do your best. And if you get to a day where you haven't done your best, you're just going to have to wake up the next day and, and try harder to do your best and, and try your hardest. And that real people do have their dreams come true when they work for them. That's a great, great thing to think about, a great thing to Wonderful. hang on to. I know that we're about to lose the satellite window. Katie Coleman, Paolo Nespoli, thanks so much for being with us. And, uh, John, you've, you've, you've managed uh, through your work over the past year to... Uh, to bring a thrill to both Carol and myself. We've never talked to anybody in space. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, by the way, Katie and Paula. Merry That's Christmas and Happy New Year. Here. Buon Natale e Felice Anno Nuovo a tutti. Station, this is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes the event. Thank you, CNN. Station, please stand by while we reconfigure video and audio communications.